Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Koji Sheldon. The head is big for a reason. This is Convo with the head. And yes, on this episode, we really can't have mind-busting conversation. Um, I have in the studio with me, uh, somebody me that I'm go school way. Me that I know expect say this thing will happen, honestly, because the time you did school, then this is not who they should be. But you see in this world, yeah, whatever you choose to do, you know, if I just do one um, with whatever you have, then it will, it will be successful for you. So I'm proud of her. I have, you know, uh, anytime I go meet her, I go tell her, I'm say I'm proud of her because it's not easy to break out in this kind of, you know, environment and things. So for what she's doing and doing for the others, no, uh, big ups to her. But yes, um, in the studio here with me, I have Endurance Grand. Boomski. <laughs> The girl be the ATM, the my, the my son. So she has a lot of money. But yes, what's hey. up? What happened? What's that day? A day? A day? Just instead of what to change, we talk to in the Jamaican thing. Who are they? We all over the virtual. This is that to get meaning. You get meaning. Yeah. What is the meaning? On this one over here mm. is my niece. The first one and the second. Okay. This one is details of my dad. Why do you have them? I mean, on your body like that. I, don't oh, uh, I feel like it's something I would want to look at every day. Okay. Like a reminder. Okay. Yeah. So these people are special people in Very your life. Very special, yeah. So they're on special ones. They don't have that. They don't no, get it. Like, you know, you see the way some people get lists of special people. Yeah. Like, yeah. I get my own list. Okay. Yeah. But so the list, I, I mean, are we going to increase the number or this is just... A... Yes, it go increase. But so the tattoo go increase. No, I don't mean say the tattoo go increase. Okay. But the list of the special people go increase. Okay. But then you know go tattoo for your body. No, uh, no. Hey. No, no. Okay. All right, very But yes. <laughs> Um, I, so for those who don't know, um, she attended Sunrise Christian High School. I attended. We were in the same, I think, no, I was, I was a senior. Yes. Yes. And as I said, when we were in school, that, this new be how, I never see say you did dance for school before. Really? Yes. I maybe mean, you see, maybe you were, you were too focused on the books. I don't see you for entertainment stuff before. No, nah, no, me better than what are you talking about? You see? Wait, but then you know school, then you know the, what, nah, entertainment that you dance. dance. Yeah. I know say that you do sports. You did play football. Yes, yeah. And you did run and things. Yes. But then the dancing never No, went. I did dance. Sight, no, give doing one. Ninos, doing yeah. Ninos. Yeah. The performance, I dance. Where, the other one where the seniors come back campus, where they can um, visit us. I dance to me then Demzi. Okay. That was how come I met Demzi. So then he day you. He, yeah. The dancing day. He day inside. Day inside. Nah. He pay me say, I know, I know, see, I'm like, I foresee traces of it happening. So he say, I'll witness the greatness. But maybe then I did dumb, I did still sad, you know. <laughs> <stuff, yeah, laughs> nah. But she was very stubborn in her. She was, but then, then your eye trunk too much. Why? By low key, low key. Nah. Stubborn. You were like, you were that, pe- like, you be in front. You were, you were always that, that person. But it wasn't like I was loud, was it? Now nah, you, you weren't loud, but when you walk into the room, people know that. Yeah, hey, with yeah. my face like that way, it swell up then times. You know, masa, 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 the witch can't swell. <laughs> then you be if, uh, if you uh, don't say you be kiddy there, yeah, that one be fine. But like then, yeah, I've entered some. Probably because maybe my my school father and then my school mother were the head prefects of the school. Then you did house four. Yeah. Oh. The black cats. Black cats. Hey, yeah. scans where come bring your black school. Cats. Come and put your school on the table. Black cats. Yeah. See, yeah, we won a lot. I they cry sometimes. I think in the houses, then they say then they can't play football. We, I, my mommy go buy me boots. I can't <laughs> then take the boots, give somebody. Hey, hmm, I for pour water for my body, then I can't ask and tell them. <laughs> I sweat. <laughs> when they say, not, you know, not same for me, but anyway. But so after school, after um, senior high school, mm. Sunrise Christian High School, I think that was when the whole dancing story started. So yeah. can you walk me through that? You know, okay, that time um, frame, how you actually decided to go like hard on this. After senior high school, yeah. it wasn't in my head that I was going to start dancing. Yeah. I wanted to play football still. Yeah. But I was traveling. I traveled to Takradi, mm. Cape Coast. I went to Anglonga, all because of football. But then... Wait, as it for like... Um, Qualify. I don't yes, know what do they yes. how do they this justify. Justify oh, okay. So they have a female um, football club at Anglonga. Okay. So I was invited and I was picked. But still, and far, you know they go. What be your position? I they play midfield. Midfield. Yeah, I they play okay. wing seven. Seven defense. two. Yeah. So you the you be that that kind you uh, utility player, right? Uh huh. Put me anywhere. You go. Then I go. You go for catch ball and things. No, no, the catching there. Okay, but striking there. Yeah. 
You, you get what? Trust issues. Okay. <laughs> Anything, will be <laughs> Anything will be happening. I don't think anyway, you can. So then the football switched to... What, yeah, what it happened? switched. I was like, I wasn't feeling any of it. Okay. Though I was doing it, but I wasn't feeling any of it. Mm. Because you know, say football to politics, they inside. Of course. Yeah. You're in talent, they you cry. No, yeah. Your talent, person. they don't go look your talent. Yeah. It'll be what you get to offer. Mm. So I stopped for some time. Then um, I started working mm. at the filling station. Yeah. Then I stopped the filling station. I started working at... um. An antiseptic company. Then what be your age? That, that the football to the filling station to the. Antiseptic. I was around nineteen twenty. Oh, okay. Yeah. So then you did cross come. Then you know each other be teenager. You did cross come. No, I passed teenager you, level. Okay, no, okay. Yeah. So the filling like, station. Then you stopped. Then you entered there. Then I entered the antiseptic company okay. as an accountant. I was mm. just no, 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 be the kind of accountant. To be Which kind of accountant? The accountant, like those petty, petty ones. Now they take the one clear to but, stitch you. <laughs> <laughs> Claire, no. Now I'm big stuff. Now okay. I'm big stuff. Okay. Like the petty ones. Okay. They go out to like neighboring, like uh maybe maybe community. Villages or town. Say village, like town, town, yeah. Okay. And then they bring um the money at the end of the day, then I make calculations. Okay. And that was it. So along the line, my my boss died. Okay. So they closed down the mm. business. So mm. now I'm jobless. Mm. So I'm like, okay. Make a squat because money no day okay. where I go rent house. So I just squat from here to there. I use them as profession. Squat, squat, squat. Professional squat, squatter. Squat. Hey, then where hey. you squat, squat? With places that you squat? For who? Yeah, I know. We but, know. Like, okay. I squat for first. I squat for Elvis in there. Elvis? Elvis took me in, yeah. Oh, okay. That was the first place I was, I was squatting. Wait, Elvis the Nigerian? No, no. Elvis, Bomasa. Oh, Bomasa. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. He took me in first when I came. Mm. Then... At a Nigerian friend's place. Okay. Then I was working for him in order to like, you know, you can't just squat and you're just being in someone's house. I was just helping him with his spare parts business mm. and everything. So after everything, I'm like, okay, make a relax more. Then God called me back. Mm. And I started working The number top them call you for. Oh, my, no, my Vodafone number. That, that number. Will, eh. Do you have the number? Still. You still have, here. It's a good thing. Legendary you number. It's good. It make you no trauma. That with. number. It'd be good. Yeah. yeah. So I went back. Mm. They started paying me small, small. Mm. I get money away. I pay my first rent. Mm. Yeah. So I was at the now, age of what? At the age of 20. Where you 21. pay your first rent? Yeah. Then it'd be how much? If I did Kai, mm. it'd be like just one room, one room. and small kitchen. Mm. I paid like 4,000 something. 4,000? Yeah. For how many years? A year? Two years. Two years. Yes. Okay, that was then. Yeah. Right now, they're forgetting. Years Who years. you are planning on? No. Don't forget it. In fact. <laughs> Two years. Okay. So after that, um, Demzy Demzy see me for filling stage. What you say? Ah, he's shocked. He say, ah, mm. what's this they do for filling stage? Africa say you go to dance by now. What mm. explain things to him? Mm. Then I started reconnecting with him, and then he encouraged me. We go for rehearsals, and then for the whole our, day now. Yeah, okay. He go come from Accra, then he come home. So then he did Accra. Yeah, he was in DWP at that time. Oh, okay. So yes. he he was basically your plug to D, DWP. He he made me see DWP. Okay. Yeah, more. I was seeing them, but it wasn't like, no, it wasn't like loud like that. Yeah. But when he came came back, I was like, okay. Mm. He was just giving me words of advice and everything. I should get back to dancing. Or oh, what are they do? Make I go back to dancing. Then um I decided to come to a craft to audition. Mm. I didn't have a plan, anything. I didn't have a routine, nothing. I just said, okay, I'll come and do my best. If anything, if they drop me, thank God. If they don't drop me, cool. Mm. So I came, I conquered. Now I'm here. Yeah, here. Yeah. But then from 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 the filling station to the anti the septic or antiseptic mm. to all these things that you were going through. Yeah. Then where are your parents they? You My know mom, the Ghanaian, right? I'm Ghanaian. Okay. Half Ghanaian, half Nigerian. Half Ghanaian, half Nigerian. Yeah. But where were your parents in this? My mom, my mom was in Nigeria. My dad is late. Okay. Died in 2015. So he was buried in the Vota region. Okay. So it was just my mom and my siblings. Okay. So they were all in Nigeria at that point. But you decide, are you the black sheep of the family? I wouldn't say black sheep. Okay. But I was the child that didn't want to be home. Okay. Yes. You I, have, wanted, you, I wanted you, to go out. There, there is a home. There is a house for you to stay. There is a house. But you don't want to stay. But I don't want to stay. I so it's not to like you come from a, a difficult background. No, it wasn't a difficult background. You just it was difficult at some point, but mm. then I decided to leave. I because wasn't... of your life, the, the life that you wanted to leave. <laughs> yes, okay. exactly. The football I wanted to play yes. too. I didn't want to stay there. I wanted to just do things on my on my own by mm. myself. It wasn't a, it wasn't an easy decision because my mom she called a lot of pastors. Hey, made them give me prophecy. Even prophecy when they happen, they go give me. Okay. So, 
you for come you for come out. Don't go to Ghana. Don't what I come to do in Ghana. No. Oh, I didn't even say Ghana. You're not terrorist. But see, country. the same Ghana where they right. You understand? Yeah. So. But then, what be some of the experiences we like? You pass through as you go through all these things. We it still it be resounding for your head inside, like. From all these things, you've you've been you pro- you've basically been alone trying to figure out how you want to go to you know put your life out there yourself. Yeah. So, what are, yeah? What are some of life experiences where like it be resounding to you right now? Where they guide you as you move like now that you are you know um, public figure. Um. Before all of this came to light, mm. first of all, being a woman, and yeah, easy. Mm. It's not easy to be a woman and to be in a woman in this kind of society where you'd have to give something to have something for yourself. I'm just, a lot of challenges like that come. Mm. Even at some points, at some places that I was squatting, mm. most of them like, take advantage. Wanted, yeah, they wanted to take advantage of that. But every time I remember where I'm coming from and what my family is going through, mm. it's just like a reminder for me to do better. Mm. Like, if you can't be the first person to bring your family out of something, at mm. least have an impact whatsoever. Mm. Do you understand? And the football too, those things all the inside. Mm. Advantage. You don't take advantage of you. Mm. So say you go day S eleven, mm. then since yeah, it wasn't it wasn't easy. But is that you go see food chop stuff <laughs> sometimes? There was a time mm-hmm. that I don't see food chop, but you I was forced to compose a song. Hey, wait me here, my my more money beats. <laughs> So wait, out of hunger, out of her, and shake. frustration, you just yes. shake where you take paper and pen, pen and paper, where some you write. red long book, some pen when you get heads off. Where you write the song, I the write song. Give me some lines. I forget. How you did forget? But it was based on hunger. E. Yes. I know what, bro. Hey, I, I, hung, <laughs> I hung sometimes. Like it made me. Jesus. I was asking for money for at some point because I cannot die. I know. I'm hung on a you home right song. Home People right. they get heart breaks then. So yes, you know be hunger. Yes, I was inspired by hunger. Yo, that was nah, how bad bro, it that's was. crazy. <laughs> that was but crazy. then, so all these things you trans. I mean, you got to a point where the DWP door. Opened. Yes, yes. So the DW the DWP moving from Ho to Accra. Yeah. First of all, actually they go to Accra. Then, then you get somebody where you know say they go stay plus. Huh? Nobody. So then, on what? Uh, what on, on what argument then they take stand top camera? So, um, special um thanks to my friend Adele. Now she stay tema. UK, ah, okay. Yeah. Can't see UK here. Adele, Adele. What's the guy? Adele, Adele, Adele. Now she, 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 she stay <laughs> tema. So okay. she actually helped me. Mm. I was squatting with her in tema. Mm. And from there, from Tema, I go to DWP rehearsals and dance class. Okay. So, so I wasn't staying in Tema to Accra. Yes, from Tema to Accra. Mm. Was, then where you uh, bought your, 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 your space there? Where you now doing? I did Jowlu. Okay. First, and then we relocated to um, this Sports Complex. So did you have to like audition for yes. a role in there? Yeah, DWP. So after how, how did that come about? Like Dance God Lloyd, the Afro Yes, Beast Dance God Lloyd was the judge. Mm. Dance God, Afro Beast, mm. and Quabos. Mm. Three of them. They, they sat down they there. They sat down. They will sit in front of you. Mm. So you just come. They will play the beats that they want. Mm. One minute. You have one minute to you prove yourself. One, have, have, you just have one minute to prove yourself. So I, like, I wasn't a professional dancer. Mm. I just did what I had to do. Mm. And then after that, they have to raise like um, a big cardboard paper. Okay. Yes or no or something like that. Yes. Or they rate you. Yes. At that point, they were like, yes. Okay. It was yes, no. Yes, no. So if... The three of them give you a yes, you are good. If two give you a yes you and good. one gives you a no, you are still good. Yeah, but Five. who knows and why eh, yes. Eh. So what was your situation? Oh, yes. So they, they knew you had it in you. Yes. I mean, I, it wasn't like you were like a professional professional no, dancer. No, I was they... not a professional dancer when okay. I joined the WP Academy. Are you happy that they give you that kind of, you know, you, opportunity? I am excited because okay. that opportunity they gave me mm. is what I'm feeling from today mm. is what people are getting to see and they're inspired and they're motivated. Mm. So if they hadn't given me the opportunity, honestly, I don't know where I would have been. Mm. Yes. So dancing from that time till now, you have basically um, <coughs> performed on every... You are not an artist that will hold a mic and go and perform, but you have basically been everywhere. Mm. The big stages, whatever. How has the transition been for you? How is it also, how you also day like being in the limelight and how, and right now I've seen that there's um, an aspect of you where 
you actually like giving. You go to schools, you go to this place, and how all these experiences they come together to you where you they you they make it they work for you like that. Okay. So first of all, I'm a very shy person. Okay. You, you know? Yeah. No, Charlie, see, let's Charlie, leave please. this. Can we just do this for the sake of what we're having right now? Okay. And just agree. Okay. Yeah. I'm a very shy person, but you're not gonna know. Okay. But <laughs> because of the talents God has given me, uh, mm. you can't be shy. Okay. You just have to keep the shyness aside sometimes mm. and do the work mm. and do what you have to do for the sake of people that look up to you. Mm. So, joining the WP Academy, I was shy. I had low self esteem. But along the line, um, showing for rehearsals, like getting advice from Dance God, Afrobeat, Squabbles, Showtime, your figuring was, was one of the things that. I kept thinking about and it made me better. Mm. Before I don't know how they dress. But you I dress like boxer, low budget boxer. Mm. You know, get anything for pocket inside. Mm. And I didn't know how to even speak because I was scared to speak mm. sometimes. And um my dance was poor. I needed grooming. So all of these things has actually boosted my confidence in ways that when I stand in front of a crowd and I'm about to perform. I deliver by God's grace. But it doesn't mean that that anxiety doesn't still kick in. Mm. I still get nervous when I'm about to perform. Okay. Definitely still the kicking. Sometimes I go feel like say I won't shank self. Hey. Yes. I'll be so nervous. I feel like I say, oh, I won't, I won't shank. I won't mm. shank. I won't shank. Hey. Nah, I feel like say, I won't boom, shank. Boom, boom. Nah, this is yeah. <laughs> Like, it's that bad. Yeah. You get me? Mm. So, um, and one of the reasons why mm. I I love giving is because of where I come from. Okay. And my father, my father is a very generous person. He gives okay. a lot. And when he died, it was just due to um, neglect. Mm. Yeah. So medical neglect. Yeah, like medical neglect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that is one of the reasons why I, if I see say somebody they lack something, you know they had me. I open my hand and give. Because I know how it feels not to have airline. anything. What can you give me? Airline. Yes. That one be gold. You then gold. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll no, take that. I'll, I'll feel put you on. Because your hairline basically they here. You have hairline. <laughs> in you, you only need to come here. Do you know I, if mm -hmm. this hairline you don't have? Mm. There's a lot of wisdom behind it. Look Please. at this. If they try farms, me no go work. I know they farm. What be farms? Okay. I know they farms you okay. farm. Okay. Yeah. So. Jesus. <laughs> 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 like it all comes from where I'm coming from yeah. and where I'm coming from actually motivates me every single day because you mm -hmm. like seriously mm -hmm. I know what I've been through not having anything watching watching um your family like not have anything at all and the fact that God has blessed me in this kind of way it makes it possible for me to give to people when I have it I know they like to say my brother man who didn't, you know, get anything chop. I will give you something chop because I hung before I mm. composed song where I hung before. So, so that song, mm. they will see a fine see, you. You see, will find I, them. I'm really looking for yeah, it. Yeah, you will find them. Yeah. But the, 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 for, you know, you came, you entered DWP and these three people, um, yeah. Quabos, um, Dance God and Afrobeat, Afrobeat these yeah. were like inspirational figures that you looked up to. Yeah. The day that you heard that, um, Dance God yeah. was no longer going to be part of your, you people, your group, how then you did you feel? Um, I was heartbroken. Okay. I was I was really heartbroken. But one thing where I use console my body be say mm. he has done his work. Okay. And in he's work, impacted. Yes. And his work is showing now. Mm. See me now in work the show for my body top. Mm. He has he has done a lot of things for me in aspect of not only how to dance, mm. like how to carry yourself as a human being. Okay. So watching him leave was a heartbreaking, um, heartbreaking situation mm. to experience. Mm. So it wasn't easy for us, but we were like looking at the positive side of it. But were you, were you ever conflicted as to follow him or stay here? No, 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 no. Okay. There wasn't. There wasn't a situation like that. Okay. You were just heartbroken. I was heartbroken. Yes. Because I'm like. Did it affect you? It affected me. Okay. It did emotionally. Emotional, but not mentally. Dan dan dance, not danceably. No, because <laughs> <laughs> because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. dance God will still want you to go on. Yeah. Okay. Do you understand? Okay. Though it will mess it will mess you up mentally, emotionally, but mm. he would still want you to go on. Mm. 
So it wasn't an easy thing for any of us in the academy. Yeah. Trust me, it wasn't. In the dancing industry, I think um, monotony be something where it vex people. Like you always keep doing the same thing. Mm. How do you come up with different styles? You understand? Because you are supposed to adapt. You are supposed to evolve. Mm -hmm. You are supposed to introduce new, um, you know, dance mm -hmm. to the system. How do you go about, you know, inventing, reinventing, evolving, like making sure you don't just come and do the same dance and people will get bored in it. So how do you go about that? Okay, so it's about not being comfortable in your comfort zone. Okay. Yeah. You should be open to learn new things from different people because Rome wasn't built in a day mm. and it took a lot of people to build Rome. So um, it's good to actually know that you don't know everything. Mm. and it's actually good to involve people so that you get to learn from them. They learn from you. So it's like scratch my back, I scratch your back situation. Mm. Yeah. You travel, you meet people. Feel free to learn their dance mm. and learn new things and practice on yourself. It'd be hard yeah. to dance. Because be I can see you people throwing dance, your hand. Dance, dance yeah. no be hard. It it's, no just, be hard. it's just like your show with your show in the studios. No, but the, no the physicality, the physical aspect, that's what I'm talking about. It'd be hard. Wait, are you... See? No, no, no. The catcher will say, it no be hard. Dancing no be hard. It's all in your head. I say... <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. See, I have tried it before and I'm telling you it's hard. You've tried it, but... Bro, you go start a punch. You were not consistent. Even your cardio and things, you have to exercise. You have to exercise. Yes, yes facts. But it's all in your head. Ha, no, and I think I'm with TD and you're here. Look at me. <laughs> If, if it is all in my head, do you know the number of dances I have in my head? I'm talking about going to stand on the stage, like where you people practice every day, doing it, doing it, making sure you perfect the craft. And there are some, like, I feel like there are some moves that, I me, mean, if you teach me thousand years, I go forget. So you know if you believe that you go get them? Oh, forget. I mean, they hear them dancing. Every day, day thousand years, no thousand years yet. Okay, my no. trial, me, me wedding down because I'm missing Miss Kitty. That, be, that, that, <laughs> that, we have to really work on that. <laughs> you have to work on that. Yeah, but you, you wake up every day and yeah. you go out there. Is it so? I mean, I mean, there is a monetary side yeah, of everything, yeah, but yeah. is this thing premise on passion? Like you have a passion it is, for this? Yeah, thing? because why? How would you make someone smile if you're not happy yourself or if okay. you don't love what you do? Okay. Like I always tell, um my colleagues mm -hmm. and anyone that wants to dance, I always tell them that before dancing, in DWP, we tell you that before you want to dance or whenever you're dancing, make sure you're enjoying what you're doing mm. so that someone watching you will enjoy it. Mm. You cannot be numb. Your face no go feel look like um, Shagazulu. Is that you why you always dance. stay smiling in your, your video? Yes, like okay. it's actually, it's actually because I love what I'm doing. Actually, I'm not faking it. See, Look at me. Okay. Not the fake. Not the fake. Not the fake. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like, okay. it comes from within. Okay. I love dancing. What makes a good dancer, though? What makes a good dancer? Yes. A good dancer, yeah. There are a lot of points, but I can, I can state it right. Give me, like, three. Consistency. Okay. Humility. Mm. And not staying in your comfort zone. Okay. Yes. Who are your, um, your dance inspiration? Dance inspiration... I have the people that have molded um, my path when it comes, like guided me yeah. in dance. Yeah. Dance God has. Okay. Afro Beast, your figure in Showtime. Quavos like, Asada. Uh, Mr. Q, you know they seen recent videos? Quavos. You know they seen recent videos? Big Q. I invented um, yeah, dance Macho moves. dancing. No, no, not macho dancing. I didn't one. Um, yeah. This thing, this dance. Quavos. Ah. Please. Oh? When you see you, I, when if I get the video, I will show you. <laughs> I'll show you the video. I'll show you the video. Okay, no problem. Uh, but like Ghana, we have um, Slim Basta, Kusia Japo, and all the, do you, the. Are these like point of um, reference when it comes to inspiration? Um, honestly, yeah. yeah. When um, I decided to start dancing, mm. I didn't know about them. Yeah. But when I joined the WP Academy, that was okay. when I started knowing about um, mm. dance legends we had mm. in Ghana. So they actually paved the way for the people that have paved the way for us. Mm. So, big ups to them. Okay. Yeah. Do you so. sometimes sit there and go like, it be we, it be, it be sick of we, we, right now, people, they pay attention. Like, if my picky can't tell me right now, say, I want to grow up and be a dancer, I will understand. Mm. Because I've seen people like you, people like Afonita, people like Dance God, 
do this and make bread out of it. Do you sometimes sit back and go like, I know people have inspired you, people started it before you came in, but right now people have become point of inspiration, references, like these people are doing it, they are making bread. Do you sometimes sit and go like, nah, bro, we actually revolutionized like the dance industry in this Yes, country. we did. We okay. did. From our leaders to us, yeah. we did. Okay. Yes. And do, uh, do you feel respected for that? Uh, do people respect you for your contribution? I do. I mean, you are too young. You have a lot of years ahead, but for within the time frame, what you have done, people would go like, you have to call me the goat. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest of all time. I mean, I'm just throwing out the way. <laughs> but like, you know, like the kind of impact that you have had on people and you still, you know, you have people that you teach to. It's not like you have mm. hit that level where you have stopped. Yeah. So yeah, with that, do you sometimes, you know, I actually... Yeah, yeah, Juma, yeah, boy, Juma. I feel I feel respected mm -hmm. so far so good. Okay. The respect we get from all of this okay. is something that you make like okay, you did do something at least. Your mm. effort is being seen and yeah. they are navigating us into something good. Mm. So yeah, I feel respected. We feel respected. Mm. So Give me so your good. top five um, you know, stages that you have performed on and you felt like you stood on that stage and you were like, nah, bro, mama, I made it. Mama I made it. I that, Okay, I mean, I need you know that, you know that, that one. That, yeah. Usher. Yeah. And um, BGMA. Okay. Roma BGMA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Ghana was beautiful. Okay. And uh, there's this show we did. Hey, God. Wait, apart from entertainment, I've seen you people dance in front of politicians. <laughs> yes. How? How do you why do it? <laughs> you know why you did laugh. <laughs> yeah, because I've seen you people dance in front of like. Yeah. Politicians. I think so it was a see. recent something. So you see where we've... So you people have like, you've grown beyond the music. Like we enter politics right now. Like yeah. Politicians are actually acknowledging us. Okay. So are you going to be on a NDC MPP campaign today? But right now. Mm. I'm not going to talk that one. Oh, uh, is it in the pipeline? Are they approaching? This one, never even, never even enter pipeline. No. Hey. Never enter pipeline. We never now, even think of But how are they like, if they start in front of politicians, they, they dance? I mean, ah, these are... Like, the, yeah, like... Okay. You're standing in front of the president yeah. of Ghana. Yeah. And you are dancing. Yeah. I always tell my colleagues, dance to secure your future because you don't know where. <laughs> <laughs> you said dance to do a secure your Secure your future. Okay. Yes. You have to dance to secure your future. Mm. You're dancing in front of the president of Ghana. Mm. See, if like, dance like something is going to happen to you in the next minutes. Mm. Yeah. So, dancing in front of politicians, like, it's like, yo. <laughs> it be, that feeling, eh? It give you that. Mm. I've seen you before. So how do you, I mean, I know you get paid and everything. Like, I've seen you, like the shoes that you people wear. Is it is it expensive to maintain a lifestyle when you get to that level? Because you invest in shoe, dresses, whatever. You are supposed to look appealing. It's not like, is it expensive? It's expensive to okay. take care of yourself. Mm. But then you have to do it responsibly. Mm. Yeah, you just can't walk in and say, oh, I'm coming to buy 10 shoes because I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not supposed to repeat shoes. Okay. You have to also think about your future. Mm. Like, you're not going to dance forever. Mm. What are you going to do after dance? So all of those things count too. It's not like, yeah, for being expensive to take care of yourself. Yeah, it's expensive People moving to, to you on Twitter yeah. recently you entered the, the the space of Agenda Boys. Uh -huh. Now, forget that side. It's not everyone on social platform that is going to like you. I'm sure there are times that you've put out content video and there are like people in the comment section stepping mm -hmm. on your neck. Yes. How do you deal with some of these things? Also, your mental health. How do you go about it? I know it? they see themselves. How? Is that what I'm more of an I don't care person. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, like why I wear my shades because I, I know they like me to see my eyes. Okay. Yeah. But come on, I just just found like a new bond with you. That's why you're able to see bro, my eyes you, right you now. You were my junior in bro, yeah. we will maintain yeah. that relationship. It's a blessing. Yeah. It's a blessing too. No, no, no. It's yeah. not a blessing. We will All maintain right. that relationship. All we right. better let dance this year. All right, Ben. ben. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, leave that for tabletop. <laughs> we better boss this year. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, but yeah. So yeah, back to my question. What was your question? Jesus Christ. Hey, my friend, my no, mom before, my friend. Okay, this is that thing. I, yes, I was talking about what was I even saying? Yes, so how your mental health this? and how you deal with some of these negative comments. Because um, I think the Twitter one like this, it was a harmless post that you put out mm. there and you had people coming for you. And the fact that I've actually made those posts, but not just on Twitter. 
it's been on Instagram yeah. and TikTok. TikTok. So it make like Twitter I hit them. Yeah. Like bomb. So yeah. like come on. But you didn't used to post on Twitter. No, I didn't. Why? What happened? I don't know. But my boss Kabuz was like mm. Twitter and just say what's on your mind on Twitter. That's like just start from there. Okay. But it wasn't easy for me. Are you getting used to the app right now? Are you I'm getting getting there. Okay. With the help of Abba Are you Abba sure it know they get to you like you know they get to me, trust me. Because have, you never sit for your bed top 12 a.m. shout hey before. No. No. Cry. The time where I shout hey. Then break your heart. The only time where I shout hey mm-hmm. was when like and the A's crown was the funny A. No, masa, masa, masa. Well, that, that time when them zoomed, did you see that picture on Twitter? That they yeah, zoomed, yeah, yeah. They zoomed they the zoom boxer. I said, hey! <laughs> Miss everywhere where the things have. I don't know see that behind the look. Eh? That's the only A I did yeah. so far. But I'm an I don't care person. Okay. And I think that has helped me so far. Who, like, it's not today that I've heard that you look like a man. Yeah. You say you dress like a man. Yeah, you, you dress like boy. a man. You why they bounce? Hey, yeah. you show the why. Everything we guys do, you want to. This mm. is not the first time. Okay. And Twitter will not make me acknowledge that. Okay. I've seen, I've heard that before. You've like, seen West. I've seen West. West. Okay. Like, throw me another bomb at chest down. That's how it was. Like, mm. I wasn't, it wasn't doing me anything, but people kept being like, oh, everything is going to be okay. You're going to go through this. You're going to pass through it. Mm. The truth is, I knew what I was expecting yeah. before going into this journey. Yeah, so it don't move me one bit. Mm. Influencer marketing for brands. Right now, people have transitioned to being just on stage dancing. You mm. represent brands. How do you go about some of these things? And how do you integrate, you know, products into your dance routines to make it <clears throat> seamlessly, like, you know, organic for yeah, your Yeah, DWP, we, we want to make it a point where if a brand comes to you mm. for you to promote a product, yeah. we don't want it to be like, we be dancers. So if we dance, then we hold the product, then we dance. Okay. We are changing the narrative mm. of everything so far. So as a dancer, what else can you do with the product? Okay. Sometimes you have to think outside the box, be creative about it. Mm. Do you understand? It's not necessarily that, um, okay, if MTN comes to us, yeah. oh, we want you guys to, we want to work with you guys. What do you think we can do? MTN, please come. Yeah. MTN, listen to this, please. <laughs> this will be clue, be hints yeah. that they give. Yeah. So... We don't have to carry the SIM card and start dancing with the SIM card. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have to actually look for ways. It's like expanding our <clears throat> horizon. Is it horizon? Yeah. Like expanding, expanding. It's not, don't think like a dancer sometimes. Mm. Think like an influencer. Okay. Like what can you do mm. with this product they've given you? Mm. So to us, we dance, yes. But there are lots of things that we can do in DWB Academy. Do they teach you some of these things or you just learn No, it no, you own? learn it. And you 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 put yourself in the midst of people that you can learn things like that from. Okay. Yeah, so you surround yourself with people that have things to offer. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. Abab. You babbing. Abab, abab. Yes. I had this question I was going to ask. Relationship in your fold, right? Mm-hmm. Right now, people have started mm-hmm. making inferences yeah. as to whether you people have transitioned to the level where you people are dating yourselves because of... For someone like Dembe, uh, what, what's Dembe? Dembe, yeah. I, I call him Dembe. The Dembe. Last time, they were roasting me in the comments. I'll call section. him that. It's a character in the, uh, the Blacklist, though. Some <clears> guy <throat> like that. But then, like, so you, you, and uh, Dembe, you, you people know yourselves like way back, yeah. maybe school matter and things. Mm. So if you are moving towards him like that, there's, there's not supposed to be a problem. Yeah. But people, the content consumers, they, they start inferring things reading meanings into some of these yeah. things. Is this just like, you know, let's just, you know, dance together and make it more organic? Or you people go beyond that and, you know, enter into relationships? It's about being organic. And okay. Demzy and I, we have, we have, we have a bond. Okay. Like, Covalent, I yeah. again. Covalent. No, 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 no. Again. Uh, so, like, uh, which one? Like bond now, like bond. French, friendship mm. bond. Like I've known you for a very long time, bond. Okay. And okay. I can wink my eyes and you know what I mean, kind of bond. Okay. Yeah, that bond some. Bad, bad, yeah. bad. So if Demzy and I stand right now and we still want to do something mm. for content, it mm. just flows naturally. Some of the things, we don't plan it. And people tend to be like, oh, they're in a relationship. Mm. Yes. Always in of, the comment section. Bro, <laughs> I interviewed you people at... I, the, the studio, the right? Studio, yeah. People were in the comment section say, you know the relationship readers, right? 
Me, I didn't like the way this girl was looking. Is there a problem with that? Bro, it's crazy how people religiously follow you people. Put, it's like put, telling put, novella. Putting relationship into yeah. your life by force. They say like, nah, the way this girl, they look at him, no, it's like there's something going. How? He left small, like, this book of him make you marry person. <laughs> What's up with the shower here, my own? Mm. But it they, it they worry you, though. You know, they worry me. Sometimes you just go with the flow. Yeah. Is that what happened with the adverts? Like, because right now it's like you people, there are male individuals in your content, yeah. right? Then people start reading me. It's like you've seen the champion really, yeah. um, Afronita issue, yeah. you and and, and Gen Z. And there's another guy, the, the Rasta head guy that you. you Timeless you, or Nature? I don't know the name, but one of them like that. You are always, he, he, the guy is always in one of your videos or two of your uh, videos. And yeah. so it's just like, come and let's dance. Just no. come, let's dance. Okay. Let's create this. Sometimes eh, we can be in the studio and I know that, okay, Timeless will be able to do this particular video with me. That's yeah. how I pictured it. That's how I visioned it. Yeah. So Timeless, I want we could do this video together. Mm. Because I feel say so you'll be the right person to do this video with. Mm. Sometimes we do it based on how we're feeling. It's not because, oh, come on, we dance, then we dance. No. Have you people become so powerful in music promotion in this country? Mm. Where Power, you... Powerful, yeah. If you say powerful, then I think of Melly. People have yeah. said, yeah, but people have said that you basically create, artists create bangers, you make it go viral. The artist does his own parts. Yeah. And we don't have our own parts. Okay. It's a teamwork. Okay. If you create song, mm. you bring it to the studio. Oh, I want you guys to promote this song for me. Mm. You've done your part. Okay. okay, tell us what we need to do mm. as creators, as dance creators. We do that part. It's based on contracts. Mm. As soon as they go right now, mm. do it on contracts. You know that this is what DWP is supposed to deliver. This is what the dancer is supposed to deliver. Then we're cool. So you've done your part as an artist to bring something that the dancer can work with mm. and the dancer works with it. So... Okay, Everybody so how major role in it. when they walk into the room that they want to engage you to dance to their song for it to go viral, mm. do you sometimes foresee the song becoming big or that this is like just a flat song and you feel like we can do something with this song? It's mixed feelings. Okay. Some songs you can hear and be like, ah, this thing will go. Okay. Some you'll be like, okay, Moku creates for top. Then as time comes, then you're like, hey, why the be you? Mm. Sometimes as dancers, you create something, but you know they feel what you create. Yeah. But as time they go on, you be like, hey, but this thing where I created the bio. So it's it's mixed sometimes. It's a mixed feeling sometimes. Okay. We you cannot get, predict yeah. all the songs that it will be a banger. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get paid well? By God's grace. God did make it happen. Mm. Mm. What do you mean? Like kitty kitty, like, you know. Um, <laughs> at least I know the honk. Okay. Yeah. At least do you do you feel like you need a recognition on the Ghana Music Award scheme. There, there have been conversations that there should be a category for Yes, like, there dancing. should be a category for dancers. Okay. And the role they have played um, in the music. Mm. Imagine, say, like, okay, um, you, you, you made a song, Amen. One day you go make song. Okay, I have a song already. You have a song, yeah. you see? I have two songs. Just look at that. Yeah, I recruited people to sing and I was giving them fans. <laughs> That's what we did. <laughs> Shouts to Amrado and the... <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, now, you've come to um, me. Mm. Oh, Endurance, create this challenge for this song in me. Mm. Now, this song blew. Your stream um, your stream has gone high. Mm. You know, worldwide, there's a banger. Mm. Everybody did dance. So now, award come. Then they give you award. There should be a category for dance creators mm. that has played a role in the music to go far. Mm. That is something that as dance creators, we are really, really looking forward to that. And okay. we feel like the industry should actually pay attention to that. Mm. You know, we should be recognized and given the credit that um, is due to us. Because if we to imagine, say, dancers, with a talk, say, okay, if you do my dance, we you not give me credit to be copyrights. Copyright like this, how do you deal with those things? Because on YouTube like this, mm. you will dance to an, you you have to dance to the original song to get yes. your message or whatever, the dance routine out. Mm. You put the song on your YouTube channel, it get copyrighted. So you don't make money off it. No, you don't make money off it. So do you sometimes have conversation with the artist? Because it happens because I react to songs. Mm. Sometimes <clears> you go, you open the back end, it's red, 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 red. You don't make any money. But then you, okay, so they pay you. So yes. even if they stri- if the uh, the copyright comes, it doesn't bother you, or do you get bothered about the fact that they don't basically allow you to make money off 
something that you are contributing to make it popular. Yes, that's that one too is 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 part of it. But there was only one time I I I realized that an artist had to um lift the copyright yeah, they, of someone's video. Yeah, they video. Will whitelist your your account. Yeah, you my, do... my friend actually got his share from that music because of a dance video he did. Yeah. Yes. Um me right now, eh? Mm. If I said I want to do a song, if I want to do a dance and use <clears throat> a song and mm. post it on YouTube, mm. I'm posting it not because I want to gain something from the video I made, but because I want to grow my audience. Okay. If that song has potential and I create to it and I post it on YouTube, it's get because I want to get more subscribers and That's more cool. audience. That's cool. It's not because of the money sometimes. Okay. So sometimes, yes, I want to grow my channel. Yeah, I want, I want to, to grow my it. channel. Okay. Because if you put on the search bar, da 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 da, da definitely that video will pop up. Okay. It's more, it's a win for me too. Mm. So yeah. How are you dealing with the Afronita movement? If I use heartbroken, go make use to one. Eh? Mm, Cause the first one heartbroken, heartbroken. Is, use a different one. Let me use something from the vocabulary. Um... Then get some language <laughs> and speak for the the DWP there. I'm more <laughs> language. Be, <laughs> them, them pay them no. Then they talk like, some way be. <laughs> um. First of all, make a, make a talk something. Talk him. If Who you know, you, if you if you know. <laughs> If unless you wear my shoe, you're not gonna know how they pay me. Okay. Afronita leaving was not um because there was a conflict, mm. but there was a misunderstanding. Okay. Afronita now sees it okay. One of the dreams that she she's always had, it's time for her to start like pursuing that dream now. Mm. And but the mentalist people they get they say you for fight mm. before you left. And that's not how it is. You know, for fight before you left. There was no fight. There was no fight. Okay. What dream no are fight. you talking about? Like teaching. Teaching kids. The dance. Yes. Okay. She always wanted to teach kids. But then if she go teach, if you go create an academy, like it will be conflict of interest, right? That'd be why she left. That, that's not why she left. If it's conflict of interest, then... But you can't create an academy. You can't be in an academy and go create academy and come here for the, the original academy. How, why, why can't it be possible? It can be possible. It's like conflict of interest. It is conflict of yes. interest. But I feel like this society, mm. society have put it in, like, then put on for them our brains inside. So you're arguing for flexibility where you can do this and do that. It's okay for you to teach mm -hmm. kids. That is, she should get her own dream. Yeah. Like, you cannot, um, some people, Destiny is to remain in DWP. Yes. Some Are you one of them? Eh? Are you one of them? I don't know what the maker has for me. Okay. I don't know what the maker has for me. I cannot... Are you ever going to leave DWP? I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. But if, say if I'm married, you know, maybe the marriage can me go like some place like um, a small deal. So you have to be serious, okay? I'm not serious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being serious. So, okay. So, um, you still talk to Afronita, right? Yes, we Okay, do. you don't have any problem. No, no. But no. when she left, the day you you heard that Charlie, the girl, they leave, then it bust your mind. It bust my, like, <laughs> I was torn up. Okay. I was, I was sad. We were all sad. Mm. Because, okay, Danny now, Danny said she wants, she like, it's time for her to go. Mm. She wants to pursue the things that she has for Champion herself. Champion okay. Yeah? Eh, yeah, it's Okay. Mm. Okay. You sure? Yeah. His name is Champion. He's, he's older than there. Who's who? Eh? You know they cry. No, no. Okay. No, they cry. Okay. No, it's not like she's leaving and never going to come back. Okay. Do you think he will come? I mean, she will come back, sorry. Yeah. Anything is possible. Okay. The fact that she's doing what um, she always wanted to do as a kid mm. doesn't mean that she cannot come back to DWP. Okay. DWP is Afonita's home. Okay. And she's like, is never going to cease from being her home. Mm. She just has her dream to follow. And people should respect that. What are your personal dreams apart from DWP? Because I'm sure you also have your personal project. I want to be a landlady. I want to own lands. Oh, to Since I go to call them, yeah, so I call and say, yo, when am I expecting the next pay? So real estate? Real estate. I want to go into real estate. Do you not want to teach? Teach. I want to teach dance. Okay. Go on a world tour. Okay. Yeah, sure. Do you plan on go you've been to South Africa, other countries, right? Yeah. So right now, Euro Europe, US, when when are you going? Um now, this is where I say it's in the pipeline now. Okay. Yeah. 
It's in the pipeline. It's gonna happen. Do you sometimes sit by and go like you people have become more popular than the artists that they create their songs? No. I've seen you enter an auditorium and people were somersaulting. There is somersaults. Please. And I don't see. I uh, follow you people like somersaults. I've seen, like somebody see you they were, flip. Bro, no, no. They were basically <laughs> barricading them not to get close to you people. Yeah. But I, every artist um, experienced that. Okay, so how my dream was I mean movie uh, idea. Every show. artist did experience that. Okay, but the level of fame, the level of acceptance by the people that consume your music. Is it? It's okay. You put me for music right now. Amen. Because people do music. Yeah, we do. You have a song. Yeah, I do. Yes. It's not like you don't have a song. Yeah. So wait, you people are not going to dance to artists that my song again. You are creating your own songs. Oh, we dance, we dance to. Why to are you people songs? creating songs? Why are we not going to create songs? Music club on Angas. I was saying, wow, no. See, we're not only dancers, oh. mm. DWP is full of talent. Okay. Talent. Actress, act- actress. Actress, okay. actors, mm. musicians, comedians. Are you a comedian or you're an actor? Or an what actress? do you think? Probably a comedian, actor. actor. There's a huge honor saying I'm a comedian. But you are funny. You are animated. So then, if, that is why I don't understand uh, what's what animated. Like cartoon. No. Jesus. Don't let me. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you are expressive, right? Uh, animated. Yeah. yeah. Casal, yeah, you are very, very domineering. That's that's I never heard that word before. Oh, it's 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 they don't worry, it's there. Charlie my poor me interview with you. Anyway, so walk as I as I was saying, walk us through like your personal projects that is coming and what it did for you as uh, you know, uh, and endurance, yeah. Okay, um, I have a lot of big things, yeah, great things that's about to happen for me this year. Mm. Um I wish I could disclose it, mm. but I want the heat to not for face. Okay. Yeah. I don't want, just anticipate. That's There's a all tour coming uh, on this year. Just anticipate. The high school tour and everything. Yeah, it's okay. happening. Okay. It's happening. We're going to. I want to go put sunrise for the things about. Charlie, you for go back sunrise. So me now I'll go. I go follow you. Go sunrise there. is a private school. I don't know. What do you mean by now? But they will accept you. They they will. You you are you completed that school. You are one of their biggest alumni. GS can, bro. You are going to uh, you are going to dance. You are not going to sell weed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why she's making it. You are going to dance. You are not going to sell weed, bro. <laughs> All right. All right. Ah, come All on. Right. <laughs> let's let we will do that. Yeah, we'll GS do that. not do it. Now what? Do they not do entertainment? They do. Eh. Hey, so okay. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a conversation with endurance, yes. And there was a time I was doing some numbers for your platform. I think I undervalued your platform. You are the most followed DWP member. That's most crazy. Followed. Like online, right? Yes. I'll be physically, people will follow you. When you belt or no. Yeah, but like, yeah, congratulations to you and yeah, um, Charles, to you, the work that you have put in, and Charlie, it not be easy for for what you have been able to do for yourself. You have created employment for yourself and for other people, and I'm glad that you are, you know, getting bread, making bread out of this thing. Uh, continue to do you. This is not, this is this is not something that then kids self go feel wake up, then dream say they go feel become dancers and things. But people have basically made the whole thing yeah. popular, um, you know, lucrative and attractive. Like people wake up, oh man, I want to become a um, um, a dancer. I look up to this, I look up to that. So you people have basically impacted. So big ups to you and thank you so much. Uh, please don't leave DWP. Yes, I'm Kwabu's Bisu. Kwabu's will come cry, please. Don't but, do that. But one thing I want to say is like, People shouldn't say what they didn't, what they don't know. No, but you see, you create when you create a fertile ground for people to move. That is what they will do. So if she left because of this, you let people know. Otherwise, they will read meanings into it. Ah, but we let people know. What did you say? You don't see our letter. You issued a statement saying that Afronita has left. Simple. No, we didn't. We didn't do one line. Okay. The re- what I'm saying is that it was reductive. You understand? You could see that there was there was no, you know. But you see, it's all good. People always agend. You can't stop people from agenda. Yeah, man. I'm listening. Like Even if you tell them big words, agend. What's agend? Agenda. Agend. You agend an agenda. Agend. Mm. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kojie Sheldon. We out. <laughs>